Hey guys, welcome back. We got uh, another video, but this is something that I'm trying now. I don't know how successful this will be. This is my KW Transformer that I got just a couple weeks ago as a birthday present to myself. It was bought off of Evil Bay. It was bench tested is what it said on the, the uh, <clears throat> description on eBay. And when I got it, that's absolutely what it was. It was bench tested. The cord had already been replaced. As soon as I hooked it onto the track, everything worked. So I was very happy with this purchase, including shipping. It only came to $95, so I can't go wrong with that. However, what I am going to attempt to fix today is under the whistle lever, there's two little tabs that stick out and are supposed to protrude into these little notches on the handle so that when you turn the handle, it activates the whistle. But these little wings, I don't know if you can see them if I bring it in closer here. There's one right here and one on the other side here. And they're pretty worn out from 60, 70 years of play. So what I'm going to try to do is, I got myself a flat washer, and I've already cut it in half, like so, and I want to drop it down into this notch because it fits perfectly, just like that, and I want to try to file it down, try to file the wings down a little bit so they're more in line with where the originals were. So that it will sit in here and create a much stronger uh, whatever into the handle. And then I won't have the handle slipping when I try to... See, it just pops right out. So hopefully with this washer dropped in there, filed down a little bit, it will sit into the handle better and hold it all. So starting with my washer that I cut right here. I'm going to put it in the device and I'm going to just slowly file it down by hand. I don't have a grinder. I don't have a proper workshop in my house, much to my own chagrin. So we just got to make do with what we got here. And what I got is this bench vise that's not bolted into anything. So I am just going to drop this washer down inside just enough and start filing to see what I get. And if this works, this will be a great, quick, cheap repair that if there's anybody else out there who's run into the same problem with their KWs, could also do. And what's the washer? What, like 10, 15 cents, something like that? So, I'll just give it a couple swipes. Turn it around, do the same thing to the other side. So I'm just going to do it in small increments, because you can always take stuff off, but you can't put stuff back on. So here we go. I don't even have a good file. I just got these crappy files. All hand-me-down stuff. Because machining wasn't really my thing. I'm an illustrator. So I'm just going to keep doing this. Dropping it back into the transformer. Just eyeball it here. In fact, I have a marker. Maybe that will help me here. Just kind of mark how much I got to take off here because it's not very much, unfortunately. 
a grinder would make short work of this really fast. And all you guys that have grinders out there, I'm jealous. Go ahead and use them. They certainly would come in handy right about now. Because there'd be more time playing and running the trains than there would be messing around with a file and a washer. Alright, so let's just get that all lined up. Tighten her up. Give it a couple more. Tighten it up and give it a couple more passes with the file. Like so. I need to have that sticking a little bit better here. There we go. I need about, I need about that much sticking out. Use the pliers as my gauge here. I'm really hoping this stuff works. I'm afraid if I, well, in order to use the actual whistle. Right now, you have to, I have to push straight down on the handle and turn it. I'm keeping my pressure up closer to the top here. But when my son goes to use it, I don't want him to flick it by the tail and then break the handle. That's what we're trying to avoid here. So that's looking pretty good. Thankfully, these steel washers are pretty soft. They're not hardened, but they'll be more than enough for the job at hand. So, let's try that again with the other side here. There. Drop it in, tighten it up. Like so. looking pretty good. So, just filing off some of the burrs. Like that. I'll bring you guys back over here to the transformer. Drop that in. Thankfully, this has this notch in the center here. That's almost perfectly lined up. I wonder if it'll fit already. No, nope, not quite. Okay. Just gotta take a bit more off of this side here. So I'll put my put my depth gauge on it like so. Right about there. That's... Don't want you to miss the excitement here. And always use a bit of lube. Yep, that works.
Alright, let's give this a try. So we dropped it back in, dropped the handle on top. Perfect. Fits perfectly. And you can see the washer is in there and it seats actually very nicely in that handle. And I can just drop the handle right back in. And there we go. For the price of a flat washer, you've got yourself a repaired whistle handle. Alright, thanks guys, and uh, tune in for the next video. Take it easy. Cheers.